Hello everybody, it's me, the Nutty Professor, and I think it's day 48 or so. And uh, we've got uh, Agita is very comfortably settled on her bed, you know, and her one of her brothers, one of the babies, is settled on the floor, just underneath his sister. She doesn't seem to mind. Um, I just came back a little while ago from a uh, two hours, you know, errands, uh, lunch and errands at uh, Bad Boy and stuff, and I left them loose, and everybody was fine. Babies were in this room, and Agita was in her room, and we've got the third uh, kid, so the second baby is there, you know. Now, I'm, try I'm going to do this slightly differently, rather than uh, show the footage from the week first, and, and then uh, a sort of a conclusion, I'm going to introduce it. Um, it is day 48 or so, uh, almost seven weeks. It'll be seven weeks uh, on uh, Wednesday. So we're pretty close to seven weeks, and I haven't posted in over a week, which for me is a little unusual. Um, now, the main news is still clear, you know, uh, made it to seven weeks. Um, but like last time, like the last cycle, the, uh, the, uh, from six weeks to seven weeks last time was pretty rough. And then actually from six weeks to 10 weeks was pretty rough. And then ten, at week 10, I, I, I binged. So this time the, uh, uh, you know, the pull ramped up again at around six weeks and it was pretty strong. Because last time I went quite deep into shadow, you know. So uh, uh, the, the 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 pull was pretty strong. On Friday I made a trip out to the house, a day trip, and I had some trouble with one of the cars, and I had to boost it and leave it on. You'll I'll include some footage of that, so you'll see that, you know. Um, and I met my contractor, and um, I gave him some money to give to the, uh, and he wouldn't take the full amount to give to the guy who's helping with the yard. So the yard is tidied up a little bit. Uh, and I was going to give him more. I took a few hundred dollars. But uh, he said, oh, if you give it to him, he's going to, you know, go on a bender. So I had the money on me. I went on a casino bender. <laughs> so I actually gave it to the guy, <laughs> to my contractor to give to the guy. So, but anyway, I did go and I did um, visit the, and you'll see that. I went to the Brantford Casino on the way back. But it's getting more and more, it was getting more and more out of control. Now the casino burn is completely done. There's no way I can step foot in a casino without accessing every dollar I can possibly access. And that's what it was uh, when I left gambling, uh, you know, the, the many years ago. And I've returned to it as a, I've returned to it as a, as a controlled burn, and it was sort of working up to a point. Limited. Uh, I could walk out with $100 or $200 or down a couple of hundred dollars, but I was able to walk out, you know. We've reached the point where I can't. On um, uh, Br Branford on Friday, it was very, very, very difficult, and I had to access from my bank machine, but I walked out with still some money on me, you know, and there was still some money at home. But then I was stressed out over, you know, the whole thing with the um, with the car and the house is moving, but it's moving slowly and all of that stuff. Plus, it's a six week to seven week. It's that, uh, you know, it's when the uh, pull really kicks in. So Saturday was bad, you know. So Sunday... I was like, okay, I've still got some cash here from uh, previous casino visits. Uh, why don't I do another one of the controlled burns? It seems to be working sort of with difficulty, but it's working. But I went on Sunday and there was just, you know, I was there all day and I kept accessing. I used all the cash I had and then I got money from, um, you know, uh, bank machine and visa and I'm juggling and I'm doing all of that. And don't ask. You don't want to know how much I spent, you know. Uh, but, you know, uh, I finally, I had to leave because they accessed all the money I could access. And uh, whatever I won, I would compulsively feed it back into the machines, you know. And when I told my contractor about this today, he said, oh, you should go with the limit. And I said, yeah, the limit works with, with uh, you know, recreational gamblers, with compulsive gamblers. And it was sort of working with me. It, you know, when I was using it as a control burn, it sort of worked, you know. But it's, it's crossed that line now. It's back to full-blown compulsion. I cannot leave a casino without feeding compulsively all the money I win all the money I can access into the machines. And that's what happened. Now, the effect of that was that it did sort of put a damper 
on the other thing. <laughs> the pull for the other thing is sort of reduced because I'm, I'm still suffering from the, uh, the gambling one, and I'm also broke. Now, I will not advise this to anyone else uh, to battle a serious addiction by um, going on another addiction that uses up all your money so that you're broke. You know? uh, that's not a recommended method. It's a, it's a nutty method, but then I'm the nutty professor. You know? So, uh, and we got two babies here. And we got, and that was the thing. They were extra cuddly in the morning. Uh, they knew that I came home sober. They're, yeah, they're, and I appreciated sober. I'm broke, but sober. And I think that's going to be the title of this podcast. Broke, but sober. You know? So, we made it to seven weeks. And I'm hoping that after this, um, it's not going to be as bad as the last stretch from seven to ten. Uh, because, you know, I am broke, you know? And because that gambling thing, it was, it was very, very hallowing. So, I think it's kind of really put a, uh, you know, a damper on the other thing, you know? <laughs> you know? So, I, I'm hoping that the next stretch is going to be a little better. And being broke maybe helps. You know? <laughs> anyway, you know, and the plants are being delivered tomorrow. I thought it was Thursday, but then I had to go today and arrange. So uh, I'm going to edit uh, some of the clips, you know, and together so you can see not all of it, but some of the uh, highlights, some of the food things, the, the trip, the whole car thing, and the gambling uh, reaching the point of no return with gambling. I cannot step into the casino again. It's not, it's not a controlled burn of any kind. It's completely out of controlled wildfire. So anyway, from the uh, four of us, so from the two babies and Akita and myself, the nuttiest of professors, sober but broke. Bye for now. Good morning, everybody. It's the day after I posted the most recent uh, podcast. And uh, the, the babies were on the bed with me at night. In the morning, I got up and, uh, you know, gave uh, all the kids treats in the kitchen. That's sort of become our, our habit now. And then I went back to bed uh, after talking to my father in India for quite some time. And then I went back to bed and I think one baby was in the bed with me. And then a little bit later, I'm like, where is he? And I looked out. <laughs> both of them are here. And I'm pretty sure that the reason that they're both here is the sister is under the thing in there. There, you know. They're both. <laughs> so the uh, four of us have been in very close proximity while I was napping the last couple of hours. <laughs> you know, I was on the bed. One was under the bed and two were right next to the bed. So the whole Roshin family has been napping in this little area uh, for you know, <laughs> different levels, you know, for the last couple of hours. So anyway, time to get up, you know, uh, brunch for the kids, and then i got to figure out uh, where I'm going to have brunch. Uh, I really didn't eat since yesterday's, uh, you know, food fest in the, uh, uh, in the afternoon. I just had a very late snack of cheese at night so I could take my uh, meds, you know, uh, my diabetes meds. So anyway, uh, day 39 and no casino yesterday. So at least we started that, you know, first day of casino uh, clear on top of everything else. Morning, everybody. I think it's day 40, day 41. Um, and uh, the, uh, the kids are, the babies are having their food here in the kitchen now rather than in the uh, the breakfast, rather than in... Uh, they seem to like this brand, of uh, these uh, these flavors. And, you know, we got a Gita. Everybody seems to like this morning's uh, breakfast, you know. Uh, so, um, uh, got up, spent some time with the kids, replied to my, uh, my, my, my friend an email, and uh, today is the day I'm going for my dental appointment. It's at 2 o'clock, but I'm thinking... It's 10.30 now. I'm thinking... I may go a little earlier and have brunch, you know. Uh, the, uh, you know, there's a there's a famous Indian buffet in uh, R Richmond Hill. I'm here at the host buffet. I made it. I've got like 20 minutes to eat because I have to. It's a 15 minute drive from here, and it's I think now 115, 120, 120. So I've got like. 15 minutes to eat. Um, I, I took some of the somber, and it's a very good buffet. So it's mostly just to get acquainted to here, you know. So there's soya, there's tawa masala, there's all. It's a very good. Well, anyway, I'm, uh, I better load up my plate. I can do two rounds and then I better run. Um, I'll brush my teeth and then go to the dentist. Bye. In the middle of eating, I get a call from my uh, contractor. So I talk to him, and you know, 
he seems like he's he's uh, ready to move and he goes oh yes I was there and I was there today and, and I did say I said I saw the four pot lights and I didn't really say I kind of implied it but I didn't really say four pot lights in a week uh, you know <laughs> you gotta pick up the piece a bit hopefully he will without my saying so and I made it quite clear that whatever is done by Labor Day that's what's done and then after that I'll call my Liberator so anyway I'm having worse malai they have a um, so I got four so that, that's thrown off my timing a bit so I'm going to very quickly I've already paid I paid cash okay I'm, I'm now in the uh, care just waiting for the uh, dental hygienist and I don't know if uh, the uh, dentist is actually going to do a quick checkup as well uh, but here I am made it in time had lunch brush my teeth got here and even had time to reply to a friend Coincidentally, the friend is a very big fan of host, so I was able to send the pictures of my, uh, of my host, but, uh, uh, you know... Okay, here I am in the uh, Asphalt 30 again, parted on. Barely talked because one half of my mouth is frozen still. But, you know, it was, uh, the, the injection part was really bad though. It's so, like okay, the injection part, was, the actual cleaning was okay. And the, uh, the dentist uh, did an exam, took some x-rays, and there are a couple of cavities. The surgeon guy actually told me that back in uh, January, and he said you should get them done soon. So for me, this is soon. <laughs> you know? Everybody, uh, I stopped to get gas, and now I've stopped at Pet Smart because I was going very fast at uh, Richmond Dale uh, Pet Smart. And obviously, you know that I can't uh, go drive by Pet Smart without stopping. So I'm getting some uh, gourmet cat foods. <laughs> Not that we don't have enough cans already in the pantry, but uh, they seem to like this applause, you know? Uh, and they, they sometimes like these tasteful ones, uh, the shrimp and fish ones. And uh, I get this, I'm bored with human pop-up tent. They've got pop-up tents, but this one is a slightly different style. Got back about an hour ago and um, let babies out of their room. And of course, Gita has gone into uh, the master bedroom. And they gave uh, the babies the, uh, th it's a very small cube thing that I got from, maybe that's why it was on sale, from uh, PetSmart for kittens. But they're, they're playing with it. They, they go in and out and I've got some spring toys in there. So uh, they're, they're, they're getting a little bit of uh, use out of it. And then you see, and I got uh, put some toys in. Now, um, my mouth is just finally, three hours later, starting to unfreeze. So, good morning everybody, it's about 10.30 and got up a while ago, uh, spent some time with the kids and um, uh, replied, you know, exchanged text with a friend and we've got uh, babies playing there, they were playing with their new cube toy a little bit earlier, so they're, they're wrestling <laughs> in the hall, but you know, uh, friendly wrestling, playful, you know, so we get the, the, the brothers playing there, and we got a Gita. Settled on the ego chair. You can see over there, you know. And then, then and I'm on my uh, spot on the sofa. I'm just going to give them breakfast, and then I have uh, my Zoom session with my analyst uh, in an hour or so. I went out a little while ago. I had to go uh, see about the new glasses, and I found a pair of frames here, and old frames that are still in very good shape. That I've given those, and they're going to be able to put new uh, lenses in them. And then uh, uh, I came back and uh, I'm just cooking a plant-based uh, compliments uh, plant meatballs uh, with um, uh, a couple of, I think they will pass their um, use-by date in my fridge, the mushrooms, but they didn't look too moldy. I mean, you know, I think the use-by date on the package was um, uh, July 28th, and I think it's about 10 days. But, it, you know, I didn't see anything like really growing on them. I mean, you know, they are funguses. So anyway, so I just put them in. only three left. And then I have some red pepper and some hot pepper, and I'll put a few more of those. Uh, just looking at this will probably kill my friends. So anyway, you know, I haven't cooked in a while. It's always a good sign, as my friends say, when I cook. Always a good sign. And uh, it's also a good sign when the when the kids are around helping me. So we got one baby there. We got another baby there. You know, <laughs> they know that I'm cooking, you know. They're like going, Daddy, you haven't cooked in a long time. And then the other one's there, <laughs> you see. Hello, everybody. I'm having lunch now at the um, Greek place, uh, Astoria. It's uh, right next to the same plaza, the Bad Boy. Bad Boy is just sort of the next building over in the same uh, same complex, you know. So, 
um, I'm having the just made it in time for lunch so I'm having the lunch first and then I go check on the um, appliances delivery for next week uh, so I'm having their lunch um, lunch uh, portion of uh, a special of uh, chicken souvlaki and it comes with uh, one side so I got the roast potatoes and it comes with a nice brisk salad good morning everybody it's now day I think 43 so yesterday would have been six weeks so it's six weeks in a day clear and uh, if we're counting casinos, <laughs> the secondary addiction now, the controlled burn one, it's, I think, six days. So, yeah, tomorrow will be so, a week. So six days clear of casinos. But that that's really just the controlled burn, which kind of got burnt up. So um, um, I'm just uh, relaxing here in the morning with the kids. Uh, baby slept on the bed with me part of the night as usual. And um, Agita, I think, was under the bed. And now... We've all we've had snacks early morning, and now we've all moved here to the living room. So everybody is quite comfortably settled. <laughs> one baby rolling about there. We got one baby there. We get Agita there on her ego chair. With some difficulty, I couldn't find the battery on the mini. So the show, I've never, uh, I've never had to boost the thing before. So and I'm looking everywhere, and some cars have them in the trunk. So I'm about to start searching the trunk. It's in here, but it was very nicely hidden with that cover, and um, uh, and I didn't realize that that cover was in. so. I pro I opened some other cover, and it was the fuse box. But uh, then I'm like, everybody, I'm here at the house. I boosted the car after some difficulty. I drove here. My uh, uh, contractor was still here. Talked to him for a while, but you know, uh, the plans to get this one ready and what needs to be done, and the appliance is coming next week, and you know, getting it cleaned up. And he's already had so this is you know he's already had a guy come and remove some of the brush. You know, uh, it's already looking neater. You know, so we are going for the curb appeal, and all this will be cleaned up. And you know, uh, so and there's some more work to be done outside and then he's going to get somebody to wash it and if we need to we'll paint bits of it you know so everything is progressing and then um, uh, he was about to leave and his truck was here you know in the spot and my uh, Mercedes wouldn't start you know <laughs> battery still flat in spite of the half an hour drive from garage to here so he boosted me with his truck and I'm just going to leave it on and unfortunately I don't have the extra key here otherwise they would have you know locked it but, um, uh, but uh, you know, I'm going to cut only the front. So if somebody tries to steal it, they don't think so. There's no pedestrians here. So, but if anybody tries to steal it, I could, I could chase them on the lawnmower. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to catch up. But anyway, you know, uh, at least they can shout, you know. So, uh, but uh, I don't think anyone's going to see that. It's very quiet out here, you know. And that's because it's so quiet out here, that's why, I, you know, I, I want a place a little bit more, you know populated but the, for now uh, this isolation is good because they don't think anyone's going to come steal my Mercedes um, I'm just going to leave it on and I think it'll need a new battery but for now I'm just going to drive it back get it into the garage and then worry about it later <laughs> so I can, uh, I'll take it and get a battery so anyway going to cut the grass and inside there has been you know the, the main thing is that the water has been connected he hasn't actually connected the bathrooms yet he has to do one more thing with the water meter or something. So he's going to do that. Um, uh, he's going to do that uh, early next week. And then on uh, Thursday, the... Um, so it's, it's coming along. You know, when I got the... Uh, I gave him the lights. They brought them in. Um, and we tried how they look. And he thinks they're fine. I mean, for the price... Because for five bucks, you know, I'm probably going to go buy some more, you know. Um, so I, get I left this on while I cut the grass at the house and then left it on while I got gas, which you're not really supposed to, but if I turn it off, I'm pretty sure it won't start again. So eventually uh, I'll have to get another battery. But in the meanwhile, I'm just going to back it into the garage in that, uh, you know, main spot there so that it can be boosted next time. And I'm taking this one back, you know, and the Mini is uh, in the uh, uh, garage. Hello everybody, I'm just outside the <laughs> Bradford Casino and it was harrowing and I knew it was going to be harrowing because, you know, it was harrowing last time. It had shifted, uh, you know, on the on my last return trip from the house and I went to Woodstock and or Chatham, Woodstock, uh, Milton and I just couldn't walk out, couldn't walk out. But the pull for the other thing was kind of strong and then I was like, you know, then the house is moving, which is very good news, but... 
it's still kind of slow. And, uh, you, you know, it was nice meeting my contractor. And I did all the stuff with the car. And I got the, uh, the old Mercedes back. I'm driving back. And I see the sign for Brantford. And I'm like going, oh, casino. And I had a couple of hundred dollars on me. Because I had kept it to pay the guy that he's cleaning. He's got cleaning the backyard. But he says, oh, no, no, we'll pay him later. So I, yeah, I gave a hundred to give to him, and I still had two hundred in my wallet. Uh, and he said, "Okay, we'll give him a hundred as a as a down payment." The, the guy who's doing the outside, you know, uh, tidying up. So uh, I still had two hundred. It went up, went down. I stopped in, and you know that. And I kind of told my uh, contractor, I said, "At this point, keeping money in my wallet isn't a great idea." But anyway, I, I, I went up, went down, went up, went down, and then I accessed another two hundred dollars from my account. And then went up, went down, went up, went down, tried to walk out, tried to walk out, couldn't walk out. And um, and, in the, and then I won 350 on a progressive. And then I started feeding that back in. So now I'm down maybe a couple of hundred bucks, but at least it was such an effort to walk out. It was such an effort to walk out. I can't tell you. I still have about 300 or 400 in my, in my wallet, but um, it was just so difficult walking out that, uh, and I'm, you know, even now, I'm standing at the car, and the pull is, you know, it's almost like a, a magnet pulling me back in because I have three or four hundred dollars in my wallet. So I'm down, but I could have been much more down. And if I walk back in, I will, I've reached this point where I really, it's next to impossible to leave without accessing everything I can access. And I knew that last week, but I was testing it out. <laughs> it's still, as everybody agrees, it's still better than the other thing. Because it doesn't, you know, there's there's less physical harm, but there is. It's still, you know, it's still really, really compulsive, and I hate the fact that I want to get back to the kids, and they've been alone all day, and I just couldn't walk out. And fine, I kept thinking of the kids, and I'm like, they're alone, they're alone. I gotta go, I gotta go. Even that wasn't enough. Fine, Hello everybody. I'm here with the Pacifica. I just washed it. I brought it yesterday to town, and today I washed it. Uh, the coin up place, and I'm here in scenic Parkdale. Uh, just getting um, Tibetan food to go. And this place has uh, spicy potato and puri that I used to get, and I'm also getting a chili tofu, extra spicy. And with this place, when they say extra spicy, I think they mean it, it's not the least they used to. So now, um, everything's okay, I guess. Uh, I had a very lazy day today, just relaxed with the kids and just didn't have the energy for anything. And I think I got, and the pull was kind of strong earlier today, actually quite strong, stronger than it's been in a while. And um, I think uh, for one thing, as I said to my friend, it might be the six week itch because it's been just over six weeks and this happened in the last cycle too. And then I think yesterday it was okay, but I just got thrown off the energy with the Mercedes not starting and boosting with this, with that, not being, able to, not being able to turn it off. I had to leave it on the whole time while I cut the grass. And then, uh, you know, and I, uh, the whole thing with my contractor, he's on board, he started moving. So far, the results have been a bit, you know, they're not quite visible yet. The water is turned on at the road, but, you know, the bathroom is still not usable. Uh, there's four park lights in the, in the family room, but he's, you know, he's, you know, he knows the reply. Good morning, everybody. It's about 10 o'clock. We got up earlier and I gave um, everybody uh, snacks in the, uh, in the sort of our routine now in the kitchen. And now, one kid was the one baby was on the bed with me, but now they're both here and... Agita is here. So we're all in the bedroom and uh, Agita is there. <laughs> you know, he's just lying in bed. So yesterday was a bit of a ride off. Um, I did go and get the takeout and I did spend time at home with the kids, but I didn't do any editing on the podcast. I didn't even do a journal entry, which is very rare for me not to write uh, uh, the events of uh, the trip and the events of yesterday. Just needed a little break, and with you know there was a pull yesterday, you know the whole thing with the day before and all that stuff at the house and the car not starting, and then the you know how starting to move but very slow, you know, and all the other stuff, and then the casino, so yesterday it was just energy was a bit uneven, but uh ho I'm hoping to get it back today, so just get back into my routine of. Hello everybody, I'm here at um, Honest, uh, it's a, a, a South Indian um, 
a vegetarian place near the casino. So this morning I was with the kids, the, um, um, the, the pool wrapped up a bit. So I guess it's just, you know, six and a half weeks, the time, stuff that's been happening, the house starting to move, but not really moving, the, the Mercedes, you know, all that stuff. But I don't think more than that, it's just time. It's just, you know, it's just like, you know, six and a half weeks. Uh, there was a strong pull in the last six and a half week on cycle as well. So I made it till 10. So this time I'm, I'm using the casino, you know, it's not really a controlled burn anymore, it's an out-of-control burn. It's a wildfire. But at least it diverts the energy, it distracts, and it's better. Than, everybody agrees the casino thing isn't good at this point because it's become very compulsive, but it's still better than the other. So anyway, so I've come out here, this is my breakfast, it's like 3 o'clock. I'm having the dosa, I like the dosa. And then the casino is very nearby, and the goal is, to, is going to be to try to walk out up or not not too much down, you know, and to try to walk out when I'm ready to walk out and not be there for hours and hours and hours. Anyway, that's the goal. We'll see if we can make it. Hello, everybody. I've just been out to the um, uh, 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 S430. Uh, I'm here at Casino, of course, uh, Casino Woodbine. So after I ate, I came here and I brought, uh, I think, $300, uh, $300 bills with me. I left 200 in the car, the glove box, and I took 100 and then I think I had 30, 40, 50, whatever, you know, change already on me, uh, 20s, 10s. So then I uh, uh, went in and right away I won three, four hundred bucks, 300, you know. And the plan was, you know, uh, gamble a couple of hundred of that, put the stake back in my wallet, the hundred dollars, um, $150, whatever, put it back in my wallet. And then uh, when, uh, when the gambled money is gone, I take my stake uh, from my wallet and I walk out and I leave even. Of course, it didn't happen, obviously, I'm a compulsive gambler. So, <laughs> I, you know, uh, I went up and down, up and down, and then I took the, uh, the, the money I'd put in my wallet, supposed to be, you know, to take home, to gamble that. And uh, I, left, I lost all of that. So I'm still, I mean, you know, I walked in with 140. So, so far, I'm down 140, you know. It's not a lot for a, several, for a couple of hours of gambling. Um, but I, of course, couldn't leave. So I went back out to the car and I got another hundred. Now, the plan is, I'm saying this publicly. Uh, let's see if we can actually do this. It's going to be a little difficult. The plan is to play with this. When it is gone, then I go back to the car and I drive home without taking the third hundred from the glove box and going back in to feed it compulsively into the machines. I'm saying that. Now, whether I can do that is a whole other thing. And if I was betting on it, I would say the odds are not in the favor of my being able to you know, lose this money, get in the car and drive home. You know, well, I told you not to bet on my leaving without taking the next hundred. So, the... Uh... Okay, I'm here at uh, Woodbine, and of course, um, I'm at full maximum level of compulsion here. So I gambled away the last hundred from the car, and then I um, took out two hundred from the bank account uh, from the ATM, and you have to pay like a uh, you know four dollar uh, service charge here. Went up, went up, went up, went down, went down, went up, went down. Doesn't matter up and down now because whatever money I have or I can access, I feed them into machines when I'm here. So there's, there's absolutely no point whatsoever in coming here. I knew that already, but I just kind of had to really see how far it had gone. And it's gone to the absolute maximum level because I ended up taking out 200 and I'm just feeding it compulsively. I'm not even enjoying it now. I'm just like going, take my freaking money, you know, eat it up so I can get the fuck out of here. That's all, that's the state I'm in right now. So I'm just feeding it. I've got my last $49, you know? And I took out another 200. So I'm at my maximum for the daily withdrawal. Uh, back when I was, uh, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, the height of my gambling um, years ago, I think I had my limit at $100. <laughs> I might have to, but it's okay. I think uh, I think uh, I cannot come to a casino again. But as we keep saying, it's better than the other thing. I think I've lost about seven, eight hundred dollars today. But at least I'm sober. <laughs> the sense that you know I'm not going to have a heart attack because of too much substances. Anyway, it's not good. It's not good.
but uh, as people keep telling me, it's better than the other stuff. It's just money. So I'm just going to feed this money in and walk to the car and get back to the kids. And that's the worst part of this is that I'd much rather be at home with the kids. And I, I keep wanting to go. So I want to leave. I want to get back to This is what, you know, that once the dragon is here, uh, you know, I just it's just too difficult when I'm at maximum level. Until now, I hadn't been until the Brantford visit, until until the actually the Milton visit uh, a couple of weeks ago. Until then, I could actually walk out with difficulty, but I could walk out. Now I just can't. It's just not possible. So now I'm just feeding the thing into there so that, to get rid of it. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna get to the car. Anyway, bye for now. Okay, here I am. I'm still here. I accessed uh, my my account, my uh, my visa. Uh, don't ask. I'm, I'm down over a thousand, twelve hundred now, and I'm just feeding everything I can access. When I get a win, I just feed it back in. This is this is the height of uh, gambling compulsiveness. So I cannot, you know, as a control burns completely out of control now. As my friend said, actually it's past forest fire now. It's past wildfire. It's just, it's an inferno. So I can't step foot in the, because you know again, it's not a, like a, it's, it, 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 it's, it's as bad as the other thing almost. Well, I mean, it doesn't have the dangers, but uh, it's, it's very expensive. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be owing money for a while on visa. And i got to pay for appliances and all of that. But when I'm here and I'm in the state, I just can't walk out. So uh, it has crossed the line. It's no longer, it cannot be used as a control burn. I knew that already. But, you know, <laughs> I just tried it anyway. Okay, that was absolutely harrowing. It was harrowing. But I have been here before. Uh, in the past, uh, gambling got to the point where I cannot walk out without accessing every dollar I can access and compulsively uh, feeding it into machines. And I'm definitely a uh, last couple of times I was almost there, but I didn't access everything I could access from bank machines and juggle accounts and uh, visa and all of that stuff. I managed to walk out while I was down 100, 200 and you know, this time it's full force. It's like every single dollar I can access. I'm down well over 11, 1200 bucks, but yeah, as people keep saying, at least I'm sober. At least I can get in the car and drive. I don't have to take a cab, you know. So I, can, I won't be arrested. Not, probably not going to have hard. You know, that, that stuff is pretty dense. That could, that could. I saw somebody actually being carried out of there. They're, they had some kind of stroke or something. Older person. But you know. Good morning. I think it's day 47, 48. The day after the casino disaster. It was coming. I knew it was coming. It's happened before. And, uh, you know, I was very close to it on the previous um, visits to the casino. But this one, it was full force. Uh, cannot leave until you access every dollar you can access, which ended up being quite a bit. But uh, but it was a disaster. But I can't go back into a casino for a long time, you know. And uh, it's not working. It's not working as a uh, because there's no more control in it whatsoever. So it's not a controlled burn. But it was still all said and done. Still better than the other thing. And I'm broke now, so I can't do the other thing even if I wanted to. <laughs> you know? So And, um, yeah, the, of course there is some, you know, I'm like, going, holy shit. You spent hours in a casino not being able to walk out and they lost a lot of money. There is, of course, that took kind of a bit of a regret of that, but it's overshadowed by the fact that I came home super and the babies have been very uh, you know cuddly in the morning and Akita was he at one point I don't know if it was a dream but at one point I think that all three kids were on the bed with me at night Akita on her um, uh, uh, you know white thing there and put the babies I think on the corner or over there might have been a dream I think it was real. So anyway, so we got, you know, and then in the morning, um, Agita was um, under the bed in the drawer, and one baby came and cuddled very nicely for, with me for quite some time, and then the other one was down here, and then he joined his brother, so the at one point there were the two babies there, and Agita under the bed, and me on the bed, until Agita got up and moved there. 
So, the family is quite happy that I'm uh, that I was sober. I was, you know, I broke, but there's enough for cat food. Don't worry. There's always be enough for cat food and toys. So, um, uh, and the sobriety is kind of overwhelming everything else. I mean, as people keep telling me, the uh, the gambling one, it's just money, you know. It's you know, there's it doesn't have the dangers of the, and it doesn't have the hangover in the morning. It has a regret, but it doesn't have the hangover and the coming down and the difficulties with that and all the other things. So today I got to go pay for the appliances. <laughs> It'll go on to next month's visa, you know. So I got to. I'm here at the patio of Astoria again, the Greek place, because I'm back at Bad Boy. I had to go pay off the balance. They're busy, so they said, you know, why don't you have lunch and then come back, and then i got to uh, pay the difference, you know, on visa, which is strained after yesterday. But anyway, I think I should be able to, um, you know, settle that, and then the appliances can be delivered to the house on Thursday. So in the meanwhile, I don't think I'm that broke. I can, uh, I, you know, they have a good lunch special here, so I'm having, you know, uh, for a change, instead of the chicken, I'm having the calamari and uh, salad and, you know, rice. Okay, I'm about to uh, post this. So I'm going to stick this on at the end. Um, so we've got, you know, the first bit I taped a little while ago. And now this. So we've got one uh, baby here. Uh, we've got another baby here. And we've got a Gita very comfortable there, you know. And as I said, and I th I'm going to title this, you know, the... Um, uh, broke but sober, but I should clarify that when I say broke, I mean, you know, there is enough for, you know, uh, cat food and ice cream and eating out and the essentials, you know, there isn't enough for serious addictions, you know, <laughs> and I've already, I've, you know, whatever money uh, allocated for the month has now gone into, uh, you know, <laughs> either into slot machines, or into the appliances, which is a much better use of it. The appliances are being delivered tomorrow. So there is enough, but, you know, there isn't enough to go in a binge, which is a good thing for me. There's enough, but the essentials, don't worry, the kids are not going to starve. Uh, and, you know, even if I didn't have my reserve fund for cat food and um, eating out, We've got lots and lots of canned cat food. I might be eating that, you know, if necessary. Uh, most of it is uh, seafood anyway. So I'm, I'm kidding. I, it's not that bad, you know. Uh, it's just uh, the extra money that could have gone to addictions is is gone, which is good. It's just uh, enough for essentials. So from the four of us, one and a two, you know, uh, there. And three. And Daddy makes four. Bye for now. See you next podcast. Uh, hopefully not ten days like this last one. This was a long stretch. Anyway, bye for now. But the big news is, made it. Seven weeks, almost seven weeks, you know. Made it. With difficulty, with, uh, with you know, wildfires and uh, burns out of control and all of that stuff, you know. And a visit to the dentist, which I have to go again this week, second visit. So with all of that, but made it and going to keep going day by day, but we're going to do this. Uh, bye for now.